Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. But that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Toulouse have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. There's the whistle. Well, that's where he wants it. short hits one that has certainly tested the keeper oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp wanted to make the keeper work though. Real chance! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Gets it upfield. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. To lose, still to register a shot on target. Dashing forward at pace. Vancouver, Vancouver drives it forward. Gradle has embarrassed himself a little there. He'll take some stick in the dressing room for that, I can tell you. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. loose who's getting there hoists it forward and the half time whistle goes and both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means see your views on the first half it's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. 
the game has already resumed here. Toulouse, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. He could be in here. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. into a dangerous position. Has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Defending of the desperate variety. Van Kerr. Hit long and direct. Gradle will try cutting inside here. just very well played he can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel Gradle battles to win it back he's not played the ball that's a foul Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although they're still close for goal. Won the day! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Auger take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Into stoppage time, whistle due any moment.
And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Always in the balance. And in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, Peter, a strength in any team has to be at 100%.